Oh boy, it's a beautiful morning here on Aquidneck Island. We're at Sakuchi Honda in Middletown. Mike Liga, we're going to talk today a little bit about trading in your vehicle. What are some tips you'd like to give our viewers in terms of trading in your car? Well, one of the things is I like to point out to people what you do before you arrive at the dealership is just as important as what happens at the dealership. One, it always makes sense to have a good car wash done to your car. A clean car right off the bat when we go out to do the appraisal makes some sense to us. Any uh, obvious scratches or dings or dents that you can have prepared prior to, um, those are all things that will lessen the value of the vehicle. Make sure you have all the keys, John. Mm. Make sure you have service records available. Um, if you have it uh, serviced at a reputable shop like ours or another manufacturer's shop, it'll show all your service records on your Carfax. Uh, also, if you're looking for some values on your vehicles, a lot of people use Kelly Blue Book or Edmonds or NADA to do some values for that vehicle. Keep in mind, we use those same books, but they're only a guide, John. And right. so they help guide us along. But what we do is we go out and look at the vehicle, we look at the overall condition of it, and then evaluate the vehicle using those guides. Some people, I think, get confused between a wholesale value of the car, or trade-in value, and retail. And there's a difference. Well, there is a difference. Out on our lot, we uh, have quite a few used cars, and those are all at what we'd call retail. Those cars have been uh, maintained by our service department. They've gone through a rigorous inspection. They've been put out front there, and they are for retail sale. Many of the cars, they've reached a certain point in their lifestyle where they don't fit our dealership, but they may fit other dealerships. High mileage, older in uh, years, but just not something we would carry here on our lot. But they still have life left in them. They still have life left in them. They have uh, those vehicles there, they have life left on them. We send them usually to the auction or we have people from other uh, used car lots that buy them. So John, this is what we call our wholesale row. This is cars that have been through, uh, we've taken these cars in trade. We put them in the shop. We've deemed they're not worthy of what our standards are here at this particular dealership. But we take different cars in for different reasons. This sure. car here, this is a ridge line here. Yep. It still looks great, it's in great shape still, has a nice leather system in it, navigation system. The only problem with this vehicle, it has 250,000 miles. Wow. So it's a one owner car, he got all the mileage out of it, he got very good use out of it. That's a good testament to the Honda it's product. It's a testament to the Honda product <laughs> and it still has value, but I'm sure if we bring this car to the auction next week, when we bring it there, we'll have plenty of bids on it, plenty of people will have interest in on this vehicle but it's just not something we do at this dealership. I have another example here of what maybe you might want to not do to maximize it. Okay. Um, when you look at this vehicle uh, right there from the obvious thing, we have the hood sticking out here. It's uh, rather maligned here in the corners. It's got some front damage. For example, a plate like this and the bracket, you can see that's all not quite taken care of. Uh, we also look up here in the corner to see if it's had its oil change done. We look for service records. If you go to, for example, for a Carfax, Carfax will recognize from regular service departments and list all of your services for you. So that's something we else we look at when we appraise the value of the vehicle. Inside, there's a lot of trash inside the vehicle. So realistically, if we'd taken this car to the car wash first, filled a little air up in that tire pressure and the uh, tire, we'd have a vehicle that would have gotten a lot more value than just coming in almost not prepared for its inspection day. Now Mike, this Pilot looks pristine and it's used. It is used, we took this in trade. This is a 2013 Honda Pilot. Yep. Uh, it's got 29,000 miles on it. When this came to us as a trade-in, it was very easy to appraise this vehicle because this is the way it came in. It'll go through a rigorous 186 point inspection through our, one of our factory trained technicians. But this person was very easy. When you look at this vehicle, it has no dings or dents or scratches on it. Inside and outside this vehicle is looks now as a trade in the way we delivered it brand new. Yeah. And these are the cars that get all the money on them. So John, this is an example of one of our cars coming in right with one of our master technicians, Joe Rigo, and he's pulling that in here now to do the 186 point uh, certified pre-owned inspection for Honda. If it passes the Joe test, it's a pretty good pre-owned car. Oh, you want that car in your family. Right. Yes. But I think the takeaway for our viewers really is when you're buying a pre-owned vehicle, it's not just about price, it's about condition. Absolutely, John. Uh, you know, you can go out and buy so many different vehicles on the market today, and the price is really important, but it really, really matters what you're getting for that price. It really comes down to value, John. Yeah. Somebody Am I else drove it, so some, you don't know. <laughs> so you want to make sure that car has been inspected properly. Yeah. You want to buy it from a dealer that you can trust. Somebody like Sakuchi Honda. We've been doing this here on the island for 65 years. We sell new vehicles. We sell fantastic pre-owned vehicles. We sell Honda certified pre-owned vehicles. But the main thing is we're a dealer you can trust. And the perfect thing about coming to Sakuchi Honda is every day the best deal is made easy.